welcome to my channel today we will study image formation by convex lenses we will make use of ray diagrams to study these image formations we will also place object at different places on the principal axis to see how the image formed is different in each case number 1 parallel rays from a distant object when parallel rays from a distant object fall on the convex lens they converge at a point which is known as principal focus kindly note that these parallel rays are parallel to the principal axis as well in second case rays of light are again parallel and coming from a distant object but these rays are not parallel to the principal axis rather they make an angle with the axis and we get a diminished inverted and real image of the object on the opposite side of the lens this is the case of object lens of a telescope we use this principle in the object lens of a telescope number 2 when object is placed beyond 2f now we use these three rays to make the image first ray which is parallel to the principal axis after passing through the lens it passes through the principal focus second ray which passes through the center of the lens it remains undeviated and third ray which passes through the principal focus after passing through the lens it becomes parallel to the principal axis and image formed will be inverted real and diminished and on the opposite side of the lens this principle is used in camera and our eye also uses the same principle number 3 when object is placed at 2f we will just analyze differently in each case each ray will be analyzed differently first ray which is parallel to the principal axis it passes through the principal focus after passing through the lens second ray it remains undeviated and third ray which passes through the principal focus after passing through the lens it becomes parallel to the principal axis and these three rays they meet at a point where we get an inverted and real image of the object on the opposite side of the lens but the size of the image will be same as that of the object and this is the case when we make photocopies of the same size number 4 when object is placed between f and 2f with the help of same three rays we get an enlarged and real image of the object on the opposite side of the lens and we use this in projectors or enlarged photographs number 5 when object is placed at f the rays after passing through the lens become parallel so we get an image at infinity and obviously this image will be upright virtual and magnified and it will be on the same side of the lens where the object is placed this principle is used to produce a parallel beam of light for example a spotlight now sixth point is when object is placed between convex lens and principal focus you may recall in the last lesson we studied convex lens as a magnifying glass so this is the same thing we are again studying as a sixth case of image formation in case of convex lenses the three rays after passing through the convex lens they diverge and when we reproduce these rays in on in the backward direction we get an upright virtual and magnified image of the object this image is behind the object and on the same size side of the lens and obviously this is the case of a magnifying glass thank you for watching